Hello and welcome to bettingnews.boilsports.com. I'm Nicola McGeady and I'm joined by Leon Blanche to discuss the last 16 in the second league of the sec second leg of the Champions League. First game we're going to talk about is Porto Arsenal. This is going to be a tough one for Porto. They're travelling away, playing at the Emirates Stadium. Do you think there's any way they can upset the odds? Um, I think it's highly unlikely. They're a five to one chance to win in 90 minutes. The draw is 14 to five, and Arsenal are seven to four on. Bad news for Arsenal supporters, their captain and their talisman, Cesc Fabregas, has been ruled out of the game. So that's a huge loss. It really is a big loss for Arsenal. Um, Porto, I think, in the last 13 matches in the Champions League away from home, they've been beaten on 10 or 11 occasions. So they're not great travellers. They have a slender 2-1 lead from the first leg. I expect Arsenal to win the game. Um, and I think they've got to take their chances. I think Bentnar missed five or six clear-cut chances on the weekend. Won't be able to do that against Porto. But I would expect Arsenal to go through. Um, I think Porto might score a goal. So maybe a correct scoreline of three goals to one should see Arsenal through. Um, I can I, see scoring goals. Well, I mean, it's going to come down to Bentnar because he's the only out-and-out -out striker. I mean, Eduardo hasn't been the same since his injury. Um, the young lad, um, I think his name is Veya, he's not really up to it, I don't think. So it's going to come down to Bentnar, Arshavin. Um, what about Theo Walcott? Yeah, he's I mean, scored. This will be a big chance for Theo Walcott, actually, because he probably will get the nod now that Fabregas is not playing either. But it, like, if I was going to go for a first goal scorer, I'd maybe go for the Russian, um, Arshavin. Um, he's a decent player. He seems to save his best for the big games. So a small little bet on Arshavin, maybe to score the first goal, or score at any time in the game because he'll probably be around about a 6-1, to 13-2 to two chance to open the scoring. So any time you might get around 15-8, to 2-1 to one on the Russian. Um, and he is a good player. He's a very, very good player. But Arsenal will have to be careful here because Porto, they've nothing to lose, but they've got a lead to protect. So they've got to be careful of the counter-attack. Arsenal always leaves themselves open to quick counter-attacking football. So they've got to keep the back four very solid. OK, and then the next game of the night sees Bayern Munich travel to Fiorentina. Is this going to be a tight game, as the odds suggest? Yeah. I mean, like I think it will be a tight game. I mean, I think a lot of English fans know Fiorentina for knocking Liverpool out of competition. Yeah. Um, Bayern Munich are a decent side without setting the world alight. Um, I think this could go either way, but I'm going to go with Bayern Munich to get through. Um, I don't know how the game is going to go on the night. I think like Fiorentina are a very decent side at home. Um, they have a couple of decent players, the likes of Mutu. On his night, can be a decent player, but uh, he's not world class. Um, they've also got the Italian guy, Gilardino, uh, who scored a couple in our qualifying cars. Certainly that Bayern Munich will have to keep an eye on, but one of the best players in the world for me is Frank Ribéry. And if he plays well for Bayern Munich, I think they'll have enough just to qualify for the quarterfinals. OK, then moving on to Wednesday night, we see David Beckham and AC Milan travel to Old Trafford to take on Manchester United. And it'll be interesting to see how Beckham gets on at his old club. He hasn't yeah. played there since 2003, I think it was. But Man United are such strong contenders and they're playing really well. But there's questions about Rooney, so will that kind of m mix up their chances? Yeah, it certainly will, Nicola. Like Rooney was missing against Wolves and United look lacklustre. Um, Berbatov leading the line wouldn't be my choice. But unfortunately, with Michael Owen injured, they've only got a couple of youngsters really to come off the bench. So I think United are struggling in the striker department. If Rooney's not fit, Berbatov, uh, not for me, just not for me. And they're six to four on to win the game in 90 minutes, nine to two AC Milan. Like Milan, um, they probably have nothing to lose coming into this game. Three two after the first leg, it's going to take a miracle for Milan to knock out Manchester United. I don't think it's going to happen. Even with United, if they're minus Rooney, I think they can do enough to get a draw at home and still go through. Of course, all eyes will be on Beckham. Um, it's his first return in I don't know how many years. He was OK in the San Siro. I mean, he didn't really do much, did he really? Um, I actually don't know how he's still in the England squad. He's not good enough. There's better, younger players on that squad, but it looks as if he's going to go to the World Cup. He'll probably play at Old Trafford tomorrow night. He'll get a good reception. Maybe have a few quid in Beckham to score tomorrow night. I can just see it happening. If the game is over, United are winning 1-0 or 2-0. Beckham steps up with a free kick. Will he might... celebrate the goal? Um, I don't think he'll celebrate it, no, because um, there's no doubt United is his first love. Um, the fans have a lot of time for him, and I think he's a lot of time. He was a great servant to the club, but they won't go through. Um, okay. Manchester United will go through. If you're looking for a goal scorer, maybe at any time, Nanny. Um, I think Nanny will play. He served his three-match domestic ban, so he will come back into the side. He's around about 23 to 10. It's a funny price, but it's a little over 5 to 2. I think Nanny uh, could be the difference between the two sides tomorrow night. OK, and then the last game we're going to preview is Leon versus Real Madrid at the Barnabu. Do you think Leon can knock out the superstars 
Yeah, I mean, they certainly have a great chance. Like what they did, and the most important thing is when you play at home for us is keep a clean sheet. And Leon did that. Uh, they beat Real Madrid 1 0 at home. So it just means that if Leon go to the Bernabeu and can nick a goal, Real Madrid are going to have to score three to knock Leon out. So um, I think Real Madrid will want to keep it tight, and they have been better at the back. Pellegrini has made some serious signings defensively. Arbeloa has done quite well since moving from Liverpool. And, and in Alonso and in Diara, two holding midfielders seem to protect the back four pretty well for Real Madrid. I actually fancy Real Madrid to win this, um, and I actually fancy them to go a long way in this competition. They're neck and neck with Barcelona in La Liga, and that says something. It really does. Um, I didn't think they'd be as close this year because it's Pellegrini's first year in charge. They've bought a lot of superstars, but they seem to have a team ethic at the moment. So Real Madrid, for me, to go through on Wednesday night and also I'm going to I'm going to tip them to win the Champions League I think this could be their year the final is back in the Bernabeu what a night that would be okay thanks a million Leon